you know, I might get some backlash for this video, but I'm gonna go ahead and say it that so many believers believe in, in, in the pre trip. I know that it does seem accurate. I know when you talk about Thessalonians, uh, I believe it's in chapter 2, or verse 2, or something, chapter 2, I believe, verse 2, that uh, it talks about being pulled up and meeting with the Lord in the clouds. And basically, how can, I mean, I know we can take that, but also we can also take, we can't forget about the, the white horse. It talks about the white horse in Revelation that, you know, the Antichrist coming on a white horse and reigning for seven years. Well, one of my past videos was talking about going back to the Quran and comparing that to the Bible that their their Christ comes on a white horse with a peace tree, and sons of peace tree for seven years uh, with with uh, Israel and everything. That they reign for seven years, but basically it's like it's the what is it? The first four years are nothing but peace. And pray about this. This God, let God show you because it is about a relationship with the Lord at the end of the day. The first four years of peace, but it's those last three that he, that the al as they call him. Yeah, I'm going to be out in a minute. So those last three years that he'll push Islam to this world if you don't take the mark uh, and deny Christ you're going to get your head chopped up so at the end of the day it's not even about being a Christian it's about worshiping you don't matter where you come from that at the end of the day he just wants your soul basically and he, uh, he uses the antichrist the false prophet and everything uh, to do that but really the son of sin did y'all the antichrist so, but it's not even really about being a Christian at the end of the day. Um, for him to try to take your soul, but basically it's about Christ being the only way. And basically he sees that it's going to be easy for him to deceive unbelievers to take them off and say it's not a big deal, it's just a new technology. Life goes on, but believers were going to warn the unbelievers about this. And some will, some will pick it up and some will, some will be able to have an ICC years to hear about some more. But it's those last three years he's going to push Islam onto this world, his belief system, the beast system, more than anything. But it's not the first four years hell comes over the earth, but it's those last three. So really the tribulation is only three years. Even though it says seven years, I know it says seven. But you got to think about the white horse, you know, that's just... I don't know, it's just what, but, I don't know, just reading about that, praying about it, showing me that at the end of the day it is about relationship, you know, seek yourself approved to the kingdom of God, you know, to appear truly, but anyway, I hope someone receives this prayer about it, go look at it, it's in Revelation, I can't remember the exact verse, I have to forget it, but um, it's in the chapter of Revelation. But it's the last three. This is why I go more for the post-tribulation rather than pre-trib. Due to the white horse and comparing the Quran, the Bible, and showing that he comes on a white horse. And it's those last three years that he brings hell over the entire earth. Dijal, blind in one eye.